Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Lotus Born, Earth Angelics of the Great Central Soul Nation, a message of the New Covenant. As the higher energetics continue to pulse in from the Great Central Sun through all opened gateways and portals, we are feeling the energies in deeper and deeper ways. Many star seeds are feeling a more sensitivity in the physical vessel, especially in the nervous system. The nervous system of the noosphere of Gaia and of all her children are being upgraded and refined for the higher order at this time. With these downloads and activations come some challenging circumstances at these unprecedented times. We navigate these obstacles and challenging energies with the power of our inner conscious mind, our open sacred hearts and the power of our almighty I Am Presence. Allow the codes and frequencies to naturally integrate into our sacred avatars as this all is in the process of preparing ground crew of the 144 for the coming quantum leap of consciousness into Homo Luminous. This preparation for our full ascension into 5D is taking us through many timeline jumps and merges as we are integrating our multidimensional consciousness into this now experience. As our toroidal electromagnetic field expands, our awareness travels deep within the zero point, and at the singularity we break through into our infinite pure awareness of Buddha consciousness. This is our true nature, our original unborn mind of eternal life. All beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. The pure awareness was converted to the three hells by false belief. And divine and then with great effort sticks you to that fake perception we resolve this by realizing our true sacred self which is pure awareness as one with god love christ buddha the Tao, great mystery whatever name you want to give to source creator a great mantra is i pray to be one with mother father god not so you become one but to realize by making real your awareness that you are already this oneness. Because until you live in this one cosmic consciousness, there manifest many problems, conflicts, and false conditions. We came on this final 3D mission of assisting Gaia and all her children in this great awakening and transformation into the paradisiacal timeline of peace, prosperity, and bliss for all. Keep rising and anchoring the light and resonance through your sacred temple, your physical vehicle, deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama as we go supernova. Aho! Abundance codes for today 14428 444 69977 5471 4812 639 Everything is accelerating and quickening, so hold on to your hats, my friends, for this is where the ride goes starfire. Namaste. Welcome. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions from our sacred scribes of the new earth, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you could please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with your teams, tribes, and groups all over this realm to get our messages and energies out to more of our team of the 144,000. We are receiving many powerful crown activations in this now experience. We had intense, powerful energies flowing in all night last night, so many powerful purging, intense dreaming, lucid dreaming, cleansing and releasing and we had many activations and earth changes all over this realm a massive flooding in our beautiful country of kenya of africa as gaia continues to clear purge and cleanse our prayers blessing and love go out to all of our people suffering due to these great earth changes we had many activations all over this realm 444 flowing in 
We had 101 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over Pachamama, the most powerful today, 5.6 on the Ring of Fire, Kermadec Islands, south of the Tropic of Capricorn, 419 UTC, 28.937 latitude, 175.877 longitude, 37 into 73, heaven on earth, 77 codes. The other most powerful earthquakes, 4.9 south sandwich islands and a 4.5 south sandwich in the root chakra pachamama council of nine coming in 4.8 gansu Qinghai border china 12 divine feminine a powerful 5.1 ecuador south america just south of zero point equator in the andes mountains in the foothills of the mountains on the border of peru and ecuador 630 UTC, 2.825 latitude, 77.12 longitude, just a little less than 3 degrees south of zero point. In the middle Dantian heart chakra, Pachamama, we had a 4.9 activation, Mutsu, Japan, south of Africa, the southwest Indian ridge, we had a 5.3 activation and a 4.4 Nicaragua, Central America, home of our Mayan elders. The whole grid is totally lighting up and activating for this great quantum leap, timeline leap into the new positive paradise timeline of heaven on earth. Now we continue with the current Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 23 degrees, 18 minutes Capricorn. The sun is at 15 degrees, 8 minutes Sagittarius. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 24 degrees Capricorn, a woman entering a convent, and the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 16 degrees Sagittarius. Seagulls fly around the ship looking for food from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Beyond Lemuria from Izzy Ivy. The card she pulled for you today, mermaid energy coming in. The celestial seas are rising. Card 44, divine 44 coming in. Shine your light. Doing what you love, time to thrive. Giving from the overflow, life purpose. Being authentically you. Compassionate self-empowerment. Loving life. Trying things you resonate with. Bringing joy to others by being an inspiration. You are amazing. There is no one like you, and no one can do you as you can. Yet we sometimes feel that we need to be a certain way, a way not aligned with our authentic self. You may feel obliged to be something or someone. You may have stopped doing some of the things you love due to time or energy restraints. When you take time to do what you truly makes you shine each day, you will light up and bring joy to other people's worlds. As you go about your life, you will have a sense of purpose and feel naturally inspired to fulfill your responsibilities. You will also have more energy and love to overflow. Doing what we love can bring so much goodness to our hearts that it filters into other areas of our life. Yet when life is demanding more of us, we give up the things we love to make way for more practical pursuits. When we finally come back to these pursuits, we wonder why we waited. For much of my life I did not paint, as I thought it was self-indulgent. I questioned how doing what I love could be beneficial to others. Now the constant messages of gratitude I receive for anchoring my visions on canvas make me wonder how I ever thought that way. It takes discipline to do what we love, especially if we are natural givers. It is easy to get caught up with other people's lives. There can also be a strong cultural belief that fulfilling a creative need is selfish. The irony here is that tending to our own needs harms none, and we will have a lot more to give. It is time for us to collect our light and shift the vibration here on earth, starting with our inner sense of being. Weave enjoyment through your day-to-day -day experience. Find purpose and the inspiration to spring out of bed in the morning. It is time to thrive. Now from our divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin. Massive collapse of artificial timelines and realities underway. As all the lies unravel, get ready for a massive quantum leap in the collective consciousness. Remember to stay in your heart and hold the balance on behalf of all. Things may get surreal. 
and from Isis Channeling's Gate of Ascension. Today, December 6, Venus Inanna reaches the last and final gate of the first synodic Venus cycle of her eight-year cycle 2020 through 2028 as the Gemini Metagoddess. She conjuncts the new moon born from the total solar eclipse, which carries the energies of resurrection, phoenix rising via kundalini rewiring at gate of ascension. This final eighth gate is special and elusive as it is not part of every Venus synodic cycle. As embodiments of the feminine principle that Venus Inanna stands for, this means that having gone through the purification and initiations of the seven gates, chakras, we can now transcend the physical realm, dimension, via our eighth chakra, soul star chakra, while we operate grounded firmly in the earth realm, our initiations in this particular cycle have earned us the hotline to the wisdom of the cosmos, divine source, the Akashic realms and the rarefied realms of manifestation, such that we may now be the architects, authors, weavers of our life here on earth, a life led by intent. Since this synodic cycle was of the Gemini Metagoddess, we now embody the entire spectrum of rainbow gifts of this archetype, Athena, wisdom, plus justice, plus warrior, Sashat, Sarasvati, Akashic scribe, plus new foundations, Iris, rainbow bridge, messenger between heaven and earth, Ishel, midwife, medicine woman. The initiations that this cycle has brought for us will serve as the overarching rainbow umbrella, guiding and protecting the next four synodic cycles ending 2028. We have undergone an intense death and rebirthing, phoenix-like resurrection with the total solar eclipse, which will be accentuated with the birth of the light sun on the solstice, 21st of December. And it's within this backdrop that Venus Inanna reaches the elusive and exclusive eighth gate of ascension. We now assume the mantle of the sovereign queen of heaven and earth, feminine principle, not gender, who wields the power, divinity, light, wisdom, courage, and ability to script, sashat, our life in accordance with our highest purpose, service, path, intention, with courage, justice, third eye wisdom, Athena. We now rebirth, midwife, heal, ishal, in our highest aspects via our ability to accept, heal, and integrate our deepest and darkest shadow aspects and this inner union, Gemini, allows us the ability to see, hear, know the divine messages from the higher cosmic realms across the rainbow bridge, Iris, so that we may transcend earthly roadblocks and thrive as joyous embodiments of the divine light and wisdom, happy ascension. Venus will begin her retrograde on December 19th and soon thereafter disappear from the evening sky. She will then arise as the morning star in January 2020 as the Capricorn Meta Goddess in a whole new synodic cycle. Thank you for holding and guiding us, Irish, Athena, Ishal, Seshat. It was a pleasure to work with your divine light guidance and wisdom these past 19 months. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. The sun codes from the seventh central sun of illumination are now being released in immensely powerful waves. As the solar junction chakra has now fully activated, we have access to the illumined codes once more for those whose solar junction is open in the fifth dimensional state. These activate the pineal and pituitary glands and the higher faculties of renewal in every sense and form. It literally means that the souls who have ascended and are ascending are now being prepared for the next wave of total expansion and renewal as well as remembering. The remembering here has to do with soul memory banks and soul mastery. With it, the keys and codes of the Holy Sophia and Holy Wisdom are being released to sow the seeds for the new golden age. Holy, holy, holy from judithkusil.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. The new moon and solar eclipse energy brought a lot of shifting from the old into the new. 
We have cleared a lot and jumped many timelines, and we'll do it some more because the 1212 portal that is coming next is going to support us energetically to do so. That also means our bodies went and will go through massive energetic changes. And they need to readjust to the changes in the new energy. When the old is being cleared out of your system, it is unusual for the body to not have a fair block of wounds stored in the cells anymore, and it needs time to adjust. This might make you feel lost and lonely at the beginning. Take care of your body. Rest and relax. Take time for yourself to be in silence and just breathe. It will help you readjust to the new energy. Do the things you love and give your body the food it craves for. About jumping timelines, you can jump timelines too. You don't have to know anything or learn how to do it. Your soul already knows everything it needs to know. Just go within and connect to that wisdom and surrender yourself to the process. Allow the soul to guide you and follow your intuition. Energy work is not learning things like we are used to. It is intuitive and also magical. It is all about surrendering to the process, trusting yourself, and do what you feel is right in your heart. The higher energy frequency you are, the easier you can jump the timelines. Go within, be in your heart, not the ego, and feel the love that you are. Do the things you love and that make you feel happiness and joy. This is how you open yourself up to jump timelines, by being happy, content, full of love, and enjoy the things you do. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Honor your light. We ask you to see the great metamorphosis that is before you, as you move deeper and deeper, learning about the collective consciousness of you, I am shown a wormhole of light. As you enter your personal light space, travel deep within the depths of your soul. For access is now available within the deep caverns of you to reach the many light experiences leading you to this now moment. See this light expansion as a reflection of your external world. For the continual light pathway is before you. There is no stopping the light mission of you to simply honor your light path, sovereign light being, the importance of you as we collectively awaken the light path, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Galaxy Girl, Archangelic Collective, Cosmic Upgrading. We are the Archangelic Collective, we are surrounding you in an orb of our light, of our love. We wish for you to be deeply aware of the cosmic upgrading that is taking place, not only around our beloved Gaia, but also with every one of your cells, and within the space quadrant as a whole, for all is being changed. All is being upgraded or downgraded, there is no middle line. Those who do not choose one path are choosing another. We are the Archangelic Collective. A new cosmic grid has been placed around Gaia for further protection. Many of you are experiencing upgrades in your protection as your intensity of involvement on the spiritual planes deepens further. All of you hearing this are warriors. Some are warriors for the dark that may be hearing, but for they have another agenda. We send them light and we send them love and deep compassion for the heart of Creator. Regardless, security protocols are upgraded. You have all been assigned an archangel of your choosing on the inner planes. We hold the light, we hold the line, and we do not put up with any shenanigans of the dark. This one had a negative entity try to get into her home yesterday, and it was easily thwarted. Immediately, her ship stopped the movement of entry, and we wish for you to know that this is the case for any of you. You have us to call upon. You likely are an aspect of one of the many of us, and you need not be afraid. They are showing me the starry night sky over Bethlehem. They are showing me the Christmas story. The shepherds were afraid of what they could not understand. The Pleiadian ship in the sky that danced and led, they could not understand it, but they could feel it. They could feel the thrum of excitement, of an elevation of light quotient and vibration around them, creating a sacred space. We wish to have you understand, to feel that you are the same light that awakened the world through Yeshua 2,000 years ago. You have this light quotient of source within you. You are like the Bethlehem stars that are shining very, very brightly on Gaia at this time, of what appears to be crushing darkness, but that could not be further from the truth. The fact that the darkness is being revealed shows it's losing, and this is cause to celebrate. 
not to be in fear. We are the Archangelic Collective. We not only weave our presences throughout time and space, but we shine through all of it. We are shining on you now. Feel our wings of light enfold you, and know that you are divinely protected, shielded from the entities that wish to harm. All shall be returned to them a hundredfold, as you are the lights in the darkness. Know that the darkness sees it and is attracted to it, and know that you are lovingly and fiercely protected. Keep your vibration high to remain fully in this vibratory field of peace and protection. Fear drops vibration. You know this. You have nothing to fear. Choose to experience ascension in the smoothest, most blessed way, and divine perfection of dance with the universe, and watch your reality shift. It will not make the news go away or shift the outer world, but your outer world will shift regardless because of your insight, your inner vision, your inner truths will have shifted. For you will have claimed yet a little bit more of your God self and become rooted deeply in the unshakableness of faith, of faith that the light is within you and that is enough, for that is all there is. Do you see? They are showing me a massive clock with golden and copper gears being swapped out for crystalline gears. I am seeing this like a surgical procedure of sorts, and all of those strong angelic warrior hands are assisting, swapping out the gears. I am seeing dark gears melt into mist, as their vibration is too low to stay, as the entire clock of Gaia is being upgraded. We are the Archangelic Collective. The clock we were showing this one relates to your inner workings of your inner selves, as you accept more and more of your crystalline codes that are bombarding your planetary sphere, more and more of your inner gears, your understandings, your programs, your inner sight will be upgraded as well. Your entire world is becoming crystalline, and those who are of another vibratory index will not linger. Choose the ascension road that is the highest and best, the most perfect timeline for you to dance with these energies in bliss and union. They are showing me people trying to dance but continuing to step on each other's feet, and it is more painful than fun. Then they are showing me Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers dancing in old movies, and it is effortless, beautiful. Yes, feel the flowing of the dance. Allow the music of the higher melodies of ascension into your cells and dance through these times with the ease and grace of the masters that you are. We are the Archangelic Collective. Peace, beloved ones. You are well watched over. From airoflight.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Transmuting fears for logic has been eliminating the competition. The four horsemen heeded the call to bring justice to society, answering prayers to end what's criminal. What's done is done and complete. There is a way out in this ending for you to move on. Ezekiel 14.21 For thus saith the Lord God, How much more when I send my four sore judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine, the noisome beast, and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. You're being asked to use this truth and go forward in creating new earth and the new mankind. According to the word of the Most High, new information is breaking through the consciousness of the anointed on how to leave the old ways behind as they are over. Common sense will help get the structure needed to feel emotionally secure and ready to claim your crown and position as a child of God. No man shall thwart you again. Are you ready to collect this position? God has answered our prayers, our tribe, the divine feminine Christ, and our brothers and sisters of the Rose are receiving rapid developments, change, and transformation today. We have a fresh start on top as master creators. This was achieved through the removal of spells, attachments, and karma off the creation power centers. You've successfully protected yourself from those that stole your feminine power with great success. This opened the doors for God to complete mission with us and herald a new throne of God through us. The Lamb of God has come to conquer the beast. Trials and tribulations from the beast system end. There is a rising of the new mankind, free from the demonic agenda of Lucifer. He is collapsing. Time is up. The devil cannot incept himself and separate sacred marriages again. Holy Grail divine unions have won. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light Daniel Giamario from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School. 
Venus moon gate of archetypal surrender to transformation and the beginning of the triple Venus Pluto conjunction presaging the United States Pluto return. Monday evening the 6th at 5.21 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the moon exactly conjuncts Venus at 24 degrees Capricorn, and that at 7.56 p.m. PST is the moon's conjunction with Pluto at 25 degree 12 minute Capricorn. Remarkably, the moon and Venus are both out of bounds, the moon well on its way to the outer standstill in 2024 through 2025, is 25.10 degrees south latitude and venus just barely at 23.35 degrees south mercury still in the exterior underworld is also out of bounds at 24.30 degrees south this is quite a wild card setup not even taking into consideration the south node total eclipse a few days ago at the ascendant of the united states placed within a wider context there is much to unpack as Monday's main events featuring Venus are multi-layered and filled with implications. Venus has a 584-day synodic cycle, which I measure from one heliacal rise to another. Every visible morning star time frame measures about 260 days, matched equally by the 260 days as visible evening star. Within the 260-day time periods are always seven times when the moon joins with Venus. I wrote back in 1997 how these seven moon-venus conjunctions could be likened to the well-known seven chakras. However, there can be rather often be an eighth conjunction in both the morning and evening star portions of the synod. Monday night's conjunction is an auspicious number eight. I describe this as an archetypal gateway of surrender to the coming transformation when Venus alchemically dies and is then reborn as an entirely different archetype of the feminine, a dramatic change from the Gemini overtone to a Capricorn expression of the sacred feminine, reborn with her heliacal rise this coming January 14th at about 15 degrees Capricorn. This establishes her overtone for the following 584 days as Capricorn. Over the years, I have also envisioned this eighth gate or portal as the variety of ways that an eighth chakra can be conceived. Pick your favorite. I have sometimes seen it as akin to a collective crown chakra, where more than one can apprehend and directly experience the Brahman beyond the individual Atman. Think of a collective enlightenment or a gate of ascension. Not a lot different from a celestial world interpretation of the galactic center, the Golden Gate. This leads directly into another remarkable feature of where Venus is in her cycle. Venus is not only joined by the moon, but also conjuncts Pluto. In fact, Venus conjuncts Pluto three times. This Monday, December 24th through 25th at 25 degrees 42 minutes Capricorn, and again March 3rd, 2022, at 27 degrees 50 minutes Capricorn, Venus turns retrograde December 19th at 26 degree 29 minute Capricorn. Once again, the U.S. NATO Pluto at 27 degrees 32 minutes Capricorn is being spotlighted with the U.S. Pluto return already occurring or beginning January 19th, 2022. With the out-of-bounds feature, the rapid movement to the next Saturn-Uranus square on December 24th, the Venus retrograde cycle, the U.S. Pluto return, the remarkable highlighting of last year's Saturn-Pluto alignment in late Capricorn, and this Venus 8th gate portal lasting until the Venus descent into the interior underworld around the January 2nd at about 22 degrees Capricorn. You can begin to understand why I say there is so much to unpack, if that is even possible. My counsel is that you engage in every possible version of surrender, they can be available to you in all the three worlds. And remember that there is spiritual warfare taking place, and it's impossible to know the outcome. The best we can do is to know our place on the wheel, play the most awake role you can play, and that great mystery through Gaia and Christo Sophia are the true directors of the unfolding global scenario. From shamanicastrology.com From Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise Gaia Daily, December 6th through 10th, True Power. The sun is in exact opposition to Black Moon Lilith, bringing a feeling of shadow over our life. 
We are facing where we have given up our voice and truth. This is bringing a feeling of being trapped in our own psyche. This is an important feeling as it is giving us an opportunity to break out of the lower matrix where humanity has been trapped for so long. This is just one of the intense transits of this week's astrology, bringing a dynamic energy of being pushed to the edge. Mercury is in square to Neptune, bringing a feeling of total confusion about what is real. We are waking up to the fact that we are truly living in a simulation matrix trap. Humanity has gone along with this slavery program for thousands of years. Now this fact cannot be ignored. Perhaps we must go deeper into the illusion before we can see the light to be able to escape. There is a feeling of impending doom as Venus inches closer to Pluto and preparing to take a retrograde on December 19th. This will keep Venus in conjunction to Pluto for the whole month, bringing forward both our deepest insecurities and feelings of powerlessness, but also an opportunity for massive empowerment. It feels like there is no way out of this trap, but this is a delusion as realizing we are in a game means we are closer than ever to breaking free. Mars is in square to Jupiter in Aquarius this week. Dark truths that humanity refuses to face that are keeping us from shifting into the new age. Mars is also in sextile with Pluto, bringing solutions to taking our power back. Those of us who have gone to the darkest depths of this earth experience are well poised to lead the way out of this lower matrix trap. Mars coming to the end degrees of Scorpio is bringing a bloom of the darkest dark. The multi-headed monster that has held humanity captive is being drawn out into the light for the final battle. Mars moves over into Sagittarius early next week, completing Scorpio season. Use this intense and dynamic astrology to push you to sprout your seed. Single focus and nothing short of total determination is being in the light of truth in every moment is what is being asked of us right now. The constant vigilance can pay off huge as we deflect distraction and continually bringing our attention back to presence. This is the answer to these times. You were made for this. Use this time to allow yourself to be catalyzed back into your true power. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars and Scorpio sextile Pluto and Capricorn. The universe offers hard-working and constructive energies with transformative potential. For change to occur, accept the challenge and take action. Tap into your deepest desires. Confront your deepest fears. Monumental courage is the gift of this aspect. When we tap or to endure until the job is done, the goal achieved, the mountain climbed. Do strength exercises to feel your muscles move beneath the skin and build confidence in your body and yourself. Manage anger with physical discipline. Cast psychic protection spells. Alchemize fear into resolve. Maybe this is an invitation to start over. Perhaps this is about releasing what doesn't work to enact a new strategy. Sometimes the universe provides an opportunity for you to discover how strong you are. Be bold. Lead the way, be a champion of positive change. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Key 97, Red Rhythmic Earth, Day 6 of the Yellow Human Wave Spell. Day 6 of any 13-day wave spell is the rhythmic tone. Balance, equality, organize. 3333 Flowing In when energies and formats in our lives are organized and orderly, the natural flow of events is effortless and simple. This tone is a space of natural rhythm and free-flowing harmonization. The rhythmic tone recognizes patterns of the whole and relative to be in natural alignment, and this helps in assisting and unifying the creation process into a sequence that can always be reliable and sustainable. Rhythm makes the process of life consistent and well kept in universal flow. Today is Dali 22 of the overtone moon of radiance. Dali, crown chakra, mantra, Om. My father is intrinsic awareness. I feel the heat. May the pure light universe infuse our soul's journey. May the planetary noosphere become the crown of pure radiance. Dali, first day of any week within the 13 moon calendar. Seven Moral Categories of Enlightened Behavior 
Everything is by the power of seven. The seven moral categories of enlightened behavior are the seven categories of behavior of being a bodhisattva. The bodhisattva is one who totally dedicates his or her life to the enlightenment of all beings. This daily practice, according to the day of the week, is for the purpose of shedding the self-importance of ego and disciplining the mind. 28 Meditations on the Law of Time The seven moral categories of ten precepts each are divided into four sets. Set 1. Dali, Seli, Gamma 1. Awakening and Cultivating Bodhi, the seed of enlightenment, present in all beings. Dali 1. The Ten Abodes, for clear seeing of the working basis of bodhisattvic behavior. Master Synchronic Codebook Dali Mantra Om. The Om is the universal symbol of many masters' meditation practices. It cleans, stabilizes, and seals the aura, provides them with light, and makes the divine connection. When the mantra is sung or spoken, visualize the symbol in golden light. Om is used for initiation and healing. It aligns thoughts and represents three universal phenomena of our life, creation, preservation, and destruction. Everything is in motion, and everything is infinite here and now. The use of Om has many beneficial effects. It drives out undesirable matter from the bodies and energy field, and builds in high-grade matter and energy. It helps stabilize and purify consciousness. Keen 97, Precept 45, our task is to make the world soul conscious by initiating it into the everyday synchronic order of reality, so the human beings become stabilized at a higher normative level of continuing consciousness. Key 15.4. Everything that arises in the mind is both what it is and what it is not simultaneously. Original mind is unchanged by the material world. The 441 cube is a quantum leap into the direct experience of cosmic reality beyond personality. 260 keys to Synchronitron from 13moonpeacetime.com And today from the Zolkin Times, King 97, Red Rhythmic Earth. Rhythmic is the name for the number 6, and its keywords are organize, balance, and equality. The sixth day of a wave spell is about getting your stuff together. Progress cannot be made by daydreaming and twiddling your thumbs. Sometimes you have to be practical. Today is about taking matters into your hands and taking care of business. Today is Red Earth and its keywords are evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. It's a great combination of number and day with the practical number six, providing a great opportunity to rebalance, and this in turn facilitates evolution. If you have mundane things to take care of today, remember you are organizing your own progress. Whether it's planting seeds in your garden or renewing your passport or sorting out your home so it is more feng shui, you get the picture. Today the guide is red earth also, and so a double helping of evolution. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Rhythmic Earth, 6 Kaban, Key 97, December 6, 2021, Divine Synchronic Evolution, 612, 2021, equals 635, equals 68, equal 14, equal 5, Day Code, 6, Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance, 8, Infinity, Abundance, Source Flow, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Month, Year Codes, 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom, 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication, 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, 8, Infinite, Abundant, Source Flow, Key 97, equals 16, equals 7, Magic, 9 months ago, 6 Kaban occurred on the Equinox Gateway, 21st of March, 2021, which was the 2121 Portal, 21 the Code of the Crown of the Magi, which denotes victory over long-fought battles, advancements, and honors, a beautiful code which blesses our future paths. Today activates the portal once more on the trail of the Sagittarius Eclipse, signaling that many blessings, gifts, and beneficial rewards are in the pipeworks. These days are very powerful as each successive day builds on the energy of the prior, all working together to ensure our successful planetary liberation. 
day six and we are halfway through our yellow human wave spell of wisdom, influence, intelligence, free will, and abundance. We certainly are attaining more divine wisdom and bombshell truths in this wave spell. Nothing can be hidden from those who have the eyes to see. Today we are listening for signs in our physical reality which are guiding our true course in our evolutionary journey as we navigate a course of justice, peace, and equality for all humanity. Tone of creation, rhythmic, tone six in the physical realm, action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Explore the great outdoors and commune with the elementals. Invite them home with you to organize your house and garden. They love helping. Today we are organizing our physical environment and our planet for greater balance, harmony, and equality, following an eclipse and tapping into the equinox portal. Not only do we have a rhythmic day, but we also have a double earth kaban today. This is a brilliant alignment as Gaia energetically and magnetically resets for greater balance throughout her entire body. Hold on, planetary kin. The global seesaw is about to reach still zero point as we head towards the solstice. It's time to find your fulcrum and center of balance before the next momentum hits. So precious hearts, a gorgeous code today. Take the opportunity to dance and sing your way through the day. Allow consciousness to send its rhythms through your body to bring you back into balance and alignment. Today's questions are how can I organize myself to have more balance and flow in my life? What are the signs telling me? How can we as a collective navigate our successful evolution through prioritizing equality, harmony, and balance for all beings? Divine blessings for a super duper organized day. In la quetch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 97, Red Rhythmic Earth. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to evolve. Balancing synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of manifestations and activations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations we're able to continue this work. If you'd like to help support us and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge on Patreon or a one-time donation to our PayPal page. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes presented from 13 Moon Peace Time in the Mayan Oracle. I am Kaban. Sacred synchronization, divine alignment of planetary and cosmic force, neither past nor future. I am the Unus Mundi, earth in the place of perfect centeredness, in the eternal present moment. From this place I offer you direct access to all knowledge, all time, all abilities. As above, so below, galactic consciousness is transmitted through the awakened eyes in your feet interwoven into the myriad possibilities of radiant fields of light. Receive now the truth you desire. I am Kaban. Keep your heart and mind open and tuned. Keys and strings awaiting in devotion, the loving touch of the true virtuoso. An effortless mastery will be created, such ecstatic harmonies of improvised perfection, as to send chills of rapture up the spine of creation. 
find freedom from what has been. Let your edges expand to accommodate my unexpected and unrehearsed movement. In the clear waters of your receptive mind, unclouded with preconceptions, there will my sparkling spontaneity dance, forming the power of synergistic movement within your life, springing with the surety of a white lion through the wilderness of once forgotten dreams. Around you are swirled on the canvas of this moment, clues the cosmic treasures you seek. A color here, a word there, a knowing in ascent on a breeze. With brush ever in motion, the mystery forms a brilliant rainbow arc, its curvaceous splendor transcending past and future. Clues are drawn into the heartbeat of the present moment, that you may release your struggle. In the realization that it is already done, as harmonies harpist, I sound synchronicity through the crystal grid network and lay it as a magic carpet under your feet. With soul's bared, step upon it now to experience the exquisite realm of all possibilities, the elements that dance in cohesive splendor as the creation, all are here, and the instrument is you. The maestro has arrived. Shall we play? From my oracle. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. We appreciate each and every one of you for your continued support. We're grateful for you all. Keep shining on, you brilliant diamonds of infinite light and infinite life. Keep walking your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.